you guys check this out. This is my first generation augmented reality helmet that I made uh, out of a bunch of pieces and parts that are just off the shelf parts. It's really clunky, but it's my first generation. I actually have the second generation in the mail right now. I'm buying um, an actual pair. Check it out. So this is it here. I'm running two LCD screens from here and here, and then there's a half silver mirror inside diagonally. This is a uh, modified batting helmet, and I'm running off of uh, two laptops. This is my game engine, and it's side by side, upside down, because <clears throat> the, uh, uh, the the actual LCD is upside down inside of there, and then this one is just a side by side of the video coming out these, and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. You gotta turn it on. There. Okay. Make sure that the sources are right. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So, as you can see, as you look up in there, we've got a panda walking on the ground. See that? He spins around and he walks. Now, I don't have my sensors hooked up on this. If I had my sensors hooked up, I could actually like turn the helmet and the panda would stay right planted on the ground, like right there. But everything is just kind of willy-nilly right now, just because I wanted to get the illusion to work. But yep, yeah, that is the first successful augmented reality test with this helmet. Um, <clears throat> when I put this on, the side-by-side -side view is merged together with a pair of uh, magnifying glasses. Um, small, like 2x power. But yeah, so that's an augmented reality illusion created with a with a uh, batter's helmet so my mad scientist experiments are working <laughs>